Hello, welcome back to the channel, and we're going to go to Red Willow. Way back a year ago. Hello, welcome back to Tap Thursdays, and we've got Red Willow Brewery. We've got Idaho 343, which is a dry hopped, double dry hopped IPA coming in at 7%. And we've got Red Willow's limited edition Mosaic Simcoe Idaho 7 Session IPA coming in at 4.7%. So Red Willow, Macclesfield, been there, done a brew day. It's fantastic, go and check out the video. Um, it's Ooh, it's probably about 12 months back now uh, on the videos. Um, I'm going to start off with the Session. I'm going to go for the Session IPA. Sensible start. Um, yeah, so Red Willow and Macclesfield. I think they do some fantastic beers. I've done lots of their uh, reviews of their beers on the channel as well. And I've got more to come. I really, I just think they're fantastic. Um, this was £3.80 from my local bo bottle, stop bottle shop. Let's crack it open. Let's get it in a glass. Get the look. Get the aroma, get the taste. Session IPA, is it going to be hazy? That's always my question now with IPAs because you just never know anymore. You really don't. Some are going to be hazy, some are going to be clear, some are going to be piney, some are going to be fruit, really like tropical, fruity. You just don't know. So it's not um, New England IPA hazy, but it's definitely got a haze going on there. It's definitely got a haze. It's got, you can slightly, you know, you've got a slight, yeah, I can just about see the uh, shadow of my hand going through there. Nice white head. And what do they say about fruity? Because I'm, I'm already getting the aroma here. Oh, that smells fantastic. I'm getting some pineapple, pineapple. Yeah, there is pineapple. But grapefruit. Also getting a bit of like the sweetness from the malt as well. It smells fantastic, it really does. There's a lot, I'm getting a lot of citrus there. A little bit of lime as well, slightly. Getting like a soft soft berry in there. A mango hit. There's lots going on in your aroma. Superb. Okay, so what is it? 4.7% Session IPA. Okay, cheers. That is fantastic. A lot going on. Really is a lot going on in flavours. Lots of flavours. There's even a pine there. A nice pine. And a nice bitterness as well. So it's, it's got, it's like a complete package of a beer. 4.7. Medium body. Low carbonation. But lots and lots of flavour. That is a cracking session IPA. It really, really is. Let's see if we can get the, get the rest of that in there. That's a, that's a cracker red willow. It really, really is. Lots going on, flavours. What would I try and pick out most there? I'm getting a real strong fruit berry note and that pine is sitting behind it. And then you've got the bitterness on the palate and it's all long lasting. I, I, I don't know what, what, what more to say. It's, it's, it's a cracking beer. It feels more than 4.7 percent it feels like i'm touching six percent if i'm honest because of the mouthfeel and the long lasting flavor it's bringing everything to the party it's fantastic it really really is see if it says anything at all on the can i don't think i can't quite remember i don't think red willow put too much on the can i mean we know what the hops are um it's a limited edition can um three of our favorite hops Packed into a juicy session IPA, uh, redolent of guava and ripe cantaloupe melon. And to be honest with you, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't. I can't. I can't even think in my head what cantaloupe melon tastes like on the spot. And guava. No, sorry, I can't. Probably does. Probably has got them flavours, but I just can't. Nothing's triggering them flavours. I've, I've had cantaloupe melon but nothing is triggering that for me um like i say red willow passion shared um and it's macclesfield 
and it's redwillowbrewery.com 4.7% 440 ml can and that is superb full of flavour okay well we'll come back when I've drank that and we're going to taste it's bigger sibling the much bigger sibling okay cheers okay so we're back with idaho 343 a limited edition again and uh, wait a minute it doesn't say dry hop it says dip hopped double dry hopped ipa dip hopped i think i've put something on the screen because i don't know what that means it's got to be something to do with the the process of the hops where they go in now i don't know if you're going in the beginning of fermentation um or have you got it in the mash? I don't know if it's going to tell me, and I can actually um, dip hopped. I've got a feeling it's when the, the hops go in and then the wort goes in on top of it when it's cooled to room temperature or, or fermentation temperature. So you can imagine you've got the hops and then your wort goes in, then your yeast, and it does its magic and it's the bio transformation. I think that's what it might mean, but I'm not 100%, and I'll put something down here. To try and explain it okay so idaho 343 seven percent double dry hops and dip hopped let's see and it just got idaho in this idaho 343 i don't know we'll find out when we read the can see that's pouring a lot thicker than the last beer he had um but the last beer honestly came across like a six percenter it was superb it really was lots and lots of flavor and really enjoyed it um this one is a lot more viscous I can't see through this one. So this has got the thick body on it, full bodied, nice creamy white head. Looks superb in the glass, it really, really does. Looking forward to this. Aroma, it's got the sweet, the, the, the malts come through on this as well. The malts coming through like a biscuit, like a digestive on the, the malt on it. Then you're getting subtle, subtle peach. But feels a bit more like more mango, more mango forward in the aroma. It's a stone fruit aromas. If I'm honest, I'm not getting much citrus on that. Oh, no, okay. Right, let's dive in. Okay, cheers. Yeah, you can tell that's 7%. Full bodied, creamy, smooth. Not really for me bitter not bitter really low bitterness it's probably really small 20 ibu bitterness you get a little bit of the alcohol but it's nice it's not ugh. you know it's not a, a, a nasty alcohol taste it's there it's nice it's balanced with the suppose the the thickness the full bodiness of the beer and it's just helping cut through that as well because it's really full bodied and then the, the, the taste for me follows through what the aroma was so it's like stone fruits stone fruits all over it tropical stone fruit mango it's yeah i'm getting a lot of mango from that and you know peach mango yeah i can't seem to pull away from that and that nice alcohol taste which is just supporting them fruit notes as well and that's fantastic it really is couldn't really do a comparison between the last beer he had which was the session and this one totally different beers this one is a fantastic like it said session beer you can sit down and enjoy a few of them this one is more complex you can tell it's his bigger sibling it's got more about it which you expect and you've got to really appreciate it and um yeah don't take it for granted basically you can taste that in the beer and it's fantastic it's a proper decent beer that one let's get the rest in the, the glass and then let's have a read what it says it reminds it's, it's in the realms of um putty that type of beer it really really is but putty's look more bitter um put your glasses on rob Idaho 343 dip hopped double dry hopped IPA. Idaho 7 hops to the power of 3. This soft and juicy IPA has been dip hopped, dry hopped, and double dry hopped. So, as you would guess, it's pretty hoppy, bringing a face full of ripe mango, apricot, and peaches. I swear I have not read that can, 
But that's what I was saying. It's all stone fruit. It is all stone fruit. Um, and that's it. Red Willow Passion Shared. Redwillowbrewery.com and we're in Macclesfield. 440 mil, 7%. Exactly what it says. That's the thing with these as well. I'm getting a bit of a yeasty stuff in there. The What it says on the can is pretty much accurate. I mean, this one, what was I saying before? The melon. I, I just can't pull out melon. Uh, even though I know what a cantaloupe melon is. But that, them are two absolute stunning beers from Red Willow. And that's why I like to do these uh, tap Thursdays. And the Red Willow, it's their tap. It's their beers on the channel tonight. And showcasing some fantastic beers. I mean, look at the thickness on that. It's just unbelievable. That 7% is well brewed. Can let me have a, another sip? That is really good. That is so, so good. I can't tell you how much I paid for that one because Mrs. B bought me that. There's no price on the top. But thank you, Mrs. B. That's superb. It really is. Okay, thanks for watching. Cheers. And I'll see you on the next one. I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it. A life worth living is a life with meaning. I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating.